what's up guys we are still updating you what is going on what is trending in nigerian politics all right i have a video to share with you uh from uh mr clark uh, talking about uh, the rift between the wiki and fubra that is the river state governor and the fct minister all right uh, just as you have seen on your screen some time ago in 2022 uh, remember, EFCC declared Fubra wanted and he was nowhere to be found. And then the, only for us to realize that he was uh, elected on the platform of PDP as the River State Governor. So um, a lot had happened. So it was not all about Wiki being the Jagaban of River State. Yeah, I believe personally from what... Mr. Clark here said uh, there were other things that were involved about a bribe. Uh, he had to, you know, according to Mr. Clark here, that EFCC wanted to use Fubra to get at Wiki because he was, uh, that was the River State Accountant General by then. You understand? So EFCC wanted to use him to get at Wiki. So that was the reason why Wiki hired Fubra, because Wiki was enjoying immunity while Fubra was not enjoying immunity. And Wiki had to use Fubra, you understand, to make him a governor so that he will enjoy immunity while he protects. Let me allow you to listen uh, to what Mr. Clark have to say. If you agree with him, let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. Reverted are now being covered by Sim, 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 uh, Fubra, who now enjoys immunity. When Fubra was not enjoying immunity and Wiki was enjoying, EFCC wanted to get a Wiki through Fubra. And Wiki hid him from the made it impossible for EFCC to, uh, to see him. Now that he had deliberately made the Fubra, the governor of River State, who now enjoys immunity, so he, he no longer enjoys immunity. And so, all that he do is being ungrateful, being unfair, very oppressive to the young man. Mr. President did not discuss anything with the, with uh, with the uh, with the young man, but Mr. President, you realize that he is the president of the whole Nigeria. He saw what happened in Ondo recently, and uh, when he realized that what he did first was not correct, he summoned them again. Mr. The President is a, a Democrat. He's a Democrat. He's not dictatorial. If he has issues to discuss and he invited, if he wanted only the governor, that's a different matter. Over 50 persons from both sides attended. Tell me how many of them spoke in that house in that meeting. So we expected Mr. President to hear from both sides. After hearing then, he is the father of this country. Nobody is disputing that with him. Then you should make it, you then discuss and say, okay, this is what I think you should go and do. Mark you, by the constitution of Nigeria, FUBRA is not under the president of Nigeria by law, by constitution. Is a governor of River State, which is autonomous as an autonomous, autonomous body. It's not subsidiary. He has his own House of Assembly. He has his own judiciary. And uh, whatever action he does must comply with the Constitution of Nigeria. He has not breached the Constitution of Nigeria. It has not come to the time. Mr. President, you step in. If he does anything which is Contrary to the Constitution of Nigeria, Mr. President, who swore to, to, uh, uh, to uphold the Constitution of Nigeria, will step in. Nobody doubts his, uh, his seniority, doubts his, uh, his, uh, his position in Nigeria. We respect him. I've served under heads of state, so I know the, the position of a head of state. Mr. President is the President of Nigeria and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Nigeria. Nobody disputes that. And I'm one of those giving him that, that support. But as a father, 
I'll be a dead man if I fail to mention to Mr. President, this action you are trying to teach is not in the right direction. It's anti the constitution. If I fail to do so, and then I'm a dead man. Chief, because Chief, this is one of the things worrying Nigeria because people don't want to speak out their minds.